So I've recently completed a thousand kilometer road trip with the Grand Vitara. Now this one is the smart hybrid, it's not the intelligent hybrid and it is probably one of their more popular selling models out there as well. What I have is also the six speed automatic version and I really wanted to see what a vehicle like this does on a drive that takes you across the country through various terrain, up hills, on nice highways, on narrow roads, on broken roads and evaluate it from that perspective. Now Maruti has always delivered vehicles that are just so well suited for the Indian environment and the Grand Vitara in many ways is one of their flagship products. I know that the Invicto is out there but uh, when you look at scale and you look at everything that's happening I think the Grand Vitara is the one that sort of put Maruti back on the map with a premium product. So to evaluate it across this drive is what I was really looking at doing and uh, on that note, I'm just going to tell you about how my drive went. I'm Vikram Gore, you're watching Motoscribes, and this video is about my road trip in the Grand Vitara. So I set out from my farm, which is at the foothills of Kode, and uh, my drive involved a lot of uh, highway driving. And then finally, when I cut into Kerala, I was on narrow roads. And if you've driven in Kerala, you know that the highways and the houses are sort of like merged together. Basically, the house gates open right onto the highway. So you get really narrow roads over there. They're nice, they're well paved for most of it, but uh, at the same time, uh, driving speeds are slower. And I think that that is the first time that I felt that the automatic was an actual boon. Because when you have to deal with that slow moving traffic, you get stuck behind a truck or a bus for kilometers to go. You know, having that automatic is just something that keeps you calm and easy and you're not really struggling and you're not really feeling that fatigue set in. But uh, out on the highway, uh, we'll start with that bit of performance first because uh, I think that's something I really want to highlight. With the 1.5 uh, engine that uh, the Grand Vitara gets, it's a nice petrol motor. And as a smart hybrid, it's got the ISG, which is your integrated starter generator, which runs a lithium ion battery pack to give you a little bit of aid when it comes to acceleration. So you get a little bit of a torque boost uh, with it. And uh, that really makes overall driving rather effortless with a vehicle even of this size. And uh, the 1.5 liter petrol motor, it delivers about 103 PS of power. It's got about 136 Newton meters of torque. And uh, with that, what you get is an able performer that's quite frugal. Uh, don't expect it to set zero to 100 times, but once you get it up and cruising, it's a very laid back machine and you can really clock in the miles. And that's something that I kind of enjoyed while being out on the highway. The other thing that I really noticed while out on the highway was the fact that it's an extremely comfortable vehicle to drive. I mean, the seats feel great. You can get that perfect driving position. You know, getting the ergonomics right is something that's extremely important when it goes out uh, to driving a car long distance. And from the get-go, the Grand Vitara proved to be a very comfortable, nicely spaced out vehicle. I think the ergonomics were great. And uh, you know, everything's at your fingertips. You got steering mounted controls, and uh, you can, once you've got your uh, music, you know, your phone paired with the infotainment system, it just works brilliantly. So you can select tracks, you can do all of that with the steering controls, not take your eyes off the road and really enjoy your drive as you cruise along at, uh, well, the speed limit or three digit speeds as you're allowed to in some parts of the country, notch it up to about 100. Uh, but with that, uh, you know, uh, you get to realize that the Grand Vitara is nice and planted. It feels safe, it feels sturdy, even at higher speeds. Uh, the steering feels great. Now that's something that I feel, uh, you know, having driven a lot of lighter Marutis in the past, it felt good to feel a vehicle that's uh, coming from the country's largest uh, car manufacturer that feels so planted and nicely done. I think that that's another accolade for the Grand Vitara. As I made my way into Kerala, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, with the narrower streets, Obviously, the automatic was a big boon. And, uh, but over here, the other thing that came out shining was the fact that the engine is extremely frugal, even at uh, this sort of start-stop sort of movement. Despite the fact that uh, I dropped a little bit compared to my highway drive in terms of mileage, I still got a very solid 13.1 kilometers to the liter, which I think is actually testament to the fact that it is a very frugal engine. And making my way through uh, Kerala, the other thing that I encountered on numerous stretches was bad roads. And uh, that's where uh, the suspension comes into play. 
uh, you need great ground clearance to get over some of those bumps or through some of those ditches rather and uh, over there too the Grand Vitara proved its metal at uh, being built right it's got uh, a really nice ride quality I think the suspension does a great job you know firms up nice on the highway so you have that control and on bumpy roads it's nice and soft and soaks in the undulations really well and you've also got uh, ample amount of ground clearance so that even if you venture off uh, the beaten path you want to take a nice dirt track somewhere uh, it will do it and uh, it will also deal with those pothole roads that I was encountering through and through uh, Kerala I sort of made my way through it was a nice coastal run and uh, I found some nice scenic locations to drive through as well and uh, a couple of pit stops uh, one of them being uh, Muzap Langat beach it's uh, Asia's largest uh, drive-in beach and I think that that's where I got to have a little bit of fun with the Grand Vitara and uh, because it's off the road and because it's not uh, on something that's extremely public and we were the only car out there I could take this out and have a little bit more fun uh, with it you know uh, a couple of fast turns maybe but uh, looked good it felt good and again it just shows that it's a fun machine, a peppy machine if you want it to be and uh, it will do the trick in entertaining you as well. Uh, but with that, it was a short break over there and uh, I finally made my way across into Karnataka where the roads finally opened up again. And out here, uh, it was a brilliant run. Uh, I had this notched up to three digit speeds. Uh, of course, it was a lot hotter and being the rainy period, it was either sun or rain and a lot of humidity. So having that AC cranked up and doing its job was uh, keeping the cabin really nice and comfortable. Again, you know, on a highway run, uh, while I did touch upon it earlier, you know, having your uh, phone being able to be paired with your infotainment system is a given in today's age. And I think uh, the system that uh, the Grand Vitara gets, uh, which is their uh, Smart Play Pro Series uh, infotainment system, uh, you know, it is a, a very neat system. Looks good. I love the graphics. Even uh, to the touch, it works really well. And uh, the pairing is effortless. Uh, so you've got wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is again, another big boon. Uh, you've got your navigation set, you've got your infotainment over there, you've got your music. So, you know, you've got a plethora of stuff that you can access. In fact, you can even answer WhatsApp messages using the voice system. So it makes it easy to stay in touch as well. And uh, you're not taking your eyes off the road, which is again, a major thing when it comes to safety. So all of this is stuff that I kind of enjoyed with the, the Grand Vitara. Uh, these are the, some of the highlights that I might have missed even in my uh, first drive review. But when you live with a car and you take it out on a nice long trip, you know, you start understanding the smaller nuances that actually start winning you over. You know, something as simple as having a large glove box. You know, you're on a road trip, you've got a lot of stuff to tuck away, you've got stuff rolling around, it's just easier to stick it in there. And having a nice big glove box just makes so much more sense. Having great uh, holders in the door for big water bottles. That's again something that you might not notice from the get-go. But when you're out on a road trip, things like this, you know, come into play and you suddenly realize, hey, this is really nice. I've seen other cars that you can't squeeze a liter bottle into. So all of that just shows the thought process that has gone in and makes this a great vehicle to take out on a nice long road trip. Uh, with that, I finally crossed over into Goa and uh, Goa is my destination for this drive. The roads in Goa again, really well paved, narrow, curvy, you've got a lot of hilly terrain over here and uh, dealing with that is uh, maybe where I had my one grouse with the Vitara because uh, you know, some of the steeper inclines, uh, you wish it would uh, be a little more peppy over there. I think the automatic uh, is a little slow it's a little lazy uh, when it comes to uh, serious inclines and uh, that's where I would say is the one big negative that I feel about the Vitara is dealing with steep inclines but apart from that uh, it flew through this entire drive it was uh, a brilliant uh, vehicle overall and I think as an all-rounder if I had to give it like a star rating it's a solid 8.5 out of 10 kind of vehicle for me which is a pretty high standard to achieve uh, in the sense that you're looking at a vehicle that can tick off being a great all-round in the city, a vehicle that you can take family out, good on space, good on comfort, decent on efficiency, and a vehicle that you can also enjoy an adventure with. So there's a lot of ask over there. 
and I think that uh, you know uh, it's a solid all-rounder in that sense and that's the feeling I got when I sort of finished my drive that it's not a vehicle that's going to wow you on every occasion it has certain moments where it does but it is a brilliant all-round vehicle that uh, you can safely maybe uh, consider if you're looking for a nice uh, family SUV, an urban SUV and uh, you want to consider a vehicle such as this. It does a lot right. Well, on that note, I hope you enjoyed my summation of my road trip and how the Grand Vitara has performed on this entire ride. And uh, please do like, share and subscribe. If you do have a comment or you have a question, please put it down in the comment section below. It's my promise that I answer each and every one of them. So I look forward to hearing from you.